Hey everyone, welcome back to Rack. And we started off with some dialogue here. Beep boop. See, I'll read that one for you. That one's easy. Beep boop. I should become a voice actor, I think. Beep boop. See? I did you did you feel me deliver those lines? See I, I try I tried to make that beep boop as emotional as possible. Here's my sexy beep boop. Beep boop. I, I am available for being a voice. I charge ten dollars an hour. Oh, that was the better made to recycling center. One piece. Wait, I'm not even reading this. Why am I reading this? She has rainbow hair. Alright, I'm gonna just uh, cut this off for a sec. Hey guys, I'm back. And let's go get this level started with a nice pistol here. Uh, this is uh, a factory sort of place. Uh, I can just. Can I jump over? Oh, or, oh no, I can destroy this. And these crates. Oh. That's different. So these things have traps in them. But uh, it looks like all you have to do is duck and it gives you ample warning about what's gonna happen. Man, bosses are just not my forte. You know, you, you, you would think though that, you know, maybe I shouldn't play it on hardcore, but I don't have a problem with the rest of the game. It's just bosses, man. I, I don't like them in video games. Alright, let's... Oh, hello. I'll just go back here. These ones are exploding robots. I think. I know I know exploding robots exist. I may not have been them. Okay, so the other thing I've established is I can't actually jump on top of these boxes. So... They possibly can be used to, ju to jump onto higher platforms, but... I would have to really seriously have like a another means of uh, getting on top of them. You know what? Why do I? Why do I bother? I mean, I I think I neglect this weapon a whole lot. So, so this is like the recycling plant, I think. Yes, recycling center. So they recycle bombs, I guess. Oh, that's a secret? Okay. That one's a bit simpler. I, I'm not sure how you can miss that one. There's something clearly there, whenever you look there. And this guy shoots me right as I go in. Eh, nothing here. I mean, it's hardcore, I have like all my life- oh, whoa. That's not a- you know, I was just about to say I have all my life. As I stepped on that thing. Well, that's my own fault. I mean, I've already established that these things can have things like, uh, bombs on them. I'm guessing those spider things really hurt. So I'm probably gonna need some more life later. It's combo time. Uh, it, I, it doesn't, it doesn't pierce. I, I would have hoped it would have pierced. Oh, now I can get on top of the boxes. No point to it really though. That's a shame. 
Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that one, that one got me. That one moved slightly faster than I thought it would. And that big robot's down. I think, mo I think most of the big areas, I think what happens is that they're in two parts. Uh, and the way it works is there's a boss at the end of the second level, I think. Uh, there's, I know there's some kind of pattern to the, bo the, the boss like that. But that first boss was actually the hardest one, and for me, for me that is, like, uh, for other people, sure. I mean, I got the pattern after a little while, but, I mean, I still had to redo the entire level, which wasn't the most fun thing in the world. Uh... That, that just wasn't... They're, they're exploding robots. You, you don't do... Oh, here we go. Let's go when there's a lot of enemies, that's what this rifle's for. Damn. Okay, so that one I got like almost the max uh Oh, and it even went through the door. It's a that was a that was a max finisher. I think it has to hit something in order for it to actually do its uh damage. Actually let's go back up to the top where I was just a second ago. Also I could also strafe run to, to go faster. It's one of the tips that this game gives. Yes, that works. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have gone in there. Well. You're joking. Every time. I mean, they're not doing that much damage to me. This is still hardcore, I'm sure. I don't know how you can tell. You can't tell. Ah, uh, there's a guy over here, naturally. Oh, look, he's got the little helmet there. Well, I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of, uh... What is that? Max armor plus five. Oh, that's what that does. Well, now we know. And I missed two of them in that other level. It's sad. Okay, and there's absolutely nothing here. Nope. Rip that room. Oh, it's not even a room, it's just... Whatever. Oh, these are, uh... They're, they're, they're conveyor belts. It's, it's a video game staple to have conveyor belts. Oh, this guy, this guy's like an LMP guy. I know I refer to everything as LMP and GMP. It's fucking Path of Exile, what can I say? It's lesser multiple projectiles. Basically, they split their shots into three. And every time I see that in video games, I always think of that and refer to it as such. Oh. Well, we can go that way. Uh, did I miss anything here? I guess not really. Let's, let's keep moving. And is that- oh, that's a secret, okay. Uh... Oh, I can kind of get him. Alright. Now, I'm skeptical on if I should- Oh, wait, let's see. See, there's a, there's a nice item here for me, so... I either have to drop to it from above or something else. But in either case, I shouldn't destroy these things until the next time I'm down here. Oh, hi, boss. Uh, what nice big guns you have. He's got rockets. And I, I just walked into that one. One more shot. There we go. He's a lizard cat thing. And it's dead now. Forever. Oh, wait. <laughs> Well, that may have helped during the fight. I totally didn't get it. Whatever, let's hang out here. I think it's uh, invulnerability, actually. Yeah, they don't do any damage to me, it looks like. Oh no, they do. Just very little. And it's about to wear off. Alright, it's gone. Alright. Uh, so from over here, I should be able to jump onto that, so... We'll, we'll, we'll make that happen.
Uh, and here's our here's the other secret that we have. All right. Oh, Doom Sphere. Well, that's useless. Oh, and I can also just blow them the hell up too. That works. Oh, that's a bomb. I guess there's a way to get it when you're not down here, but whatever. Makes the shotgun really awesome, though. And I think that's everything here. The pistol's not very useful at opening those things up. Yeah, there's some guys here. Oh, hi. I don't have enough ammo in it. That's not good. I actually like that weapon. That one's a really nice, like, close range weapon, but I wasted all against the boss. I think, I think perhaps the variety is lacking in the weapons slightly. Uh, I mean, they got some secondary functions on some of the weapons, but you have to get combos to get them. Which kind of adds a little bit of a barrier to them, because how often do you get combos, guys? Not really. So, I mean, there's one more weapon that we don't have here, and that's it, actually. There's no other weapons beyond that. Beyond that. Which is actually s sort of disappointing. I was hoping that there would be more. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of gold. And I'm back up to nine lives, so... Time to find a boss to waste it all on. Uh, it's just a bomb. So, I don't know. If there's anything I have to criticize about this game, like, it's a really, really good game. But, it's just I'm not a fan of the live system, although it is technically optional with regards to the fact that, um... Uh, you don't have to play on this difficulty. Uh, you can just play it on, like, another difficulty that actually allows you to quick save. Regardless, though, I'm the kind of guy who likes tr torturing myself on hard difficulties. Oh, and here we go. Alright, let's be absolutely careful with this. Alright, this one I just have to run through. Same can be said for a lot of these, though. Oh, and I couldn't even duck to avoid that one. Alright. That one, that one's actually not that difficult with the timing. Let's make each other, there isn't any nasty surprise on that side. Uh, and the other criticism is, yeah, there's a bit of a lack in variety of weapons. But I did look up what, their pl what the plan is, and apparently they're planning two more DLC episodes. Uh... Essentially, I'm, I'm assuming right now it's paid DLC, uh, but that's not really an issue. I mean, if they design some new weapons and stuff around it, then I, I, I don't see that as a big problem. I'm just, I'm just letting you know what the, that what the plan is for this game, uh, if you're, if you're thinking about getting it. Uh, it's right now 15 bucks on Steam. And, and so yeah, so, you know, I, I don't know what the price set would be for the DLC. Let's just say five bucks or something. I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you for sure. Don't, don't, don't go like, oh, Mike confirmed it's five bucks. I don't know. Oh. Brought me down here. Uh, I kind of want to go back up. And that one goes the other way. Uh, some ammunition here and a door we can't go into. So I'm just I'm just saying out loud like what what you can expect from the game uh, if you if you get more of it. At the very least, you have uh, like the map editor and stuff to hold you over. So uh, for any new content, so I, I'm assuming new expansion packs would have some new designed weapons and things like that. Although I'd hope that that new weapons wouldn't be locked behind uh, uh, DLC. Because then, like, it, it limits what the map creators can do. I don't know what keeps shaking. 
Oh, uh, that, that's what's doing. It's a crushinator. That's a new thing, though. The the, the trap thing there. Yeah, that's that's really nice, actually. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, just that. That's it. Oh, but I can go on top. I see. Oh, and that's really mean of the game to do that. Oh, come the hell on! <laughs> I hate those things. Is there anything- yeah, there's stuff on the top there. How would I get up there, though? Is something like this? Okay. I right, found a secret. I'm surprised I even missed that. This one seems so obvious. And I'm not- I'm not really sure the point of the cr the crushing thing at the top here. I really should just now expect them around the corners now. Well, I was like- was, yeah, they don't hurt that much, so I think we're okay. I mean, there's one- there's one other difficulty beyond this one that I'm- that I'm not doing right now. Well, I haven't unlocked it. Alright. Well, we got everything here. Okay. Yeah. Let's, uh... It's my panic mode. Also, I realize what lags the game is when- when something does a lot of damage to give everything, uh, the lag goes friggin' crazy, because all the- all the corpses have to, like, give and everything like that. That's- that's the only thing. That I've seen that uh, causes a lot of uh, little leg issues. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh no! Oh, this just goes into the main room there. All right, I think we're good now. Well, I still can't. Oh, whoa! And now, oh, great! And now that uh, place is closed, I can just go this way. So the one behind him is probably mad that he hasn't gotten any action, and he's gonna smash the ground. Maybe no. Okay, I don't really know what causes him to smash the ground, but I have ten lives now. That's more than what I had last time, so you know, that's a, that's a bonus. Alright, we'll just let the room have it. Have a good time in exploding its things. Oh, there's like literally nothing in here, actually. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, this one's a little bit more difficult to dodge. And wow, that's the end of that one. So close to the end of the treasure. Oh well. Now we're doing part two of uh, Recycling Center. Let's go see what icy goodness we have here. I don't even know if I, it's icy goodness. This is a Recycling Center. All right, we got mines here. I think this is a mechanic I explored once. Okay, we've already established I cannot destroy them. Can't, okay. Uh, I'm just not going to touch them, because anything that's a spiky ball in a video game, I, I I think I know not to touch. Although... I wonder if that's permadeath if I touch it. I want to kind of just jump over that. Yeah, it's permadeath! Okay, I... Tried to jump over it, and I wasn't very successful. Okay, we've learned an important lesson today about friendship and not touching spikes. So, we're not going near that ever again. Alright, well, we, we got some gold here.
And there's the red spikes here. Uh, wait. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh, boy. <laughs> Could have been bad. Alright. Now, I'm assuming that the blue spikes, uh, yeah, they just hurt me. Oh, that's nice. Well, I got, I got like two extra lives out of that. Right, let me just open up. Oh, I see a button just behind one of these. Oh, and another extra life. Okay, we're up to 12 lives now. What did I just do? I pushed a button and something activated. I see a life container there. Maybe I'll go get that. Oh. Wow. If I go into the conveyor belt then. Things will happen. Oh. Well, there's naturally another one right there. <laughs> I do kind of like that element. Alright, we found a secret. That was just a jumping one. As long as there's still lava for me to jump into, then that's, that's cool with me. Alright. I'm not entirely sure about that place. Uh, oh, let's just go over here. Well, we'll go down there in a second. Alright, fine. Oh, well, we don't have a lot of ammo for that thing. I mean, we could just hit him down here. That's, that's cool with me. And we got, like, half the pulse ammo left. That thing just eats up ammo. That's ridiculous. Okay, so that's not open right now. Oh, I'll just leave this place. If you're gonna open buzzsaws on me, I'm not even gonna talk to you. Oh, well this button does stuff. Checkpoint reached. Guessing something down here opens? Yeah. I'm so glad those things didn't activate on me. Uh... Oh, didn't really get to use that at all. Yeah, it's not worth using the... My, my good weapons on. If there's a corner for me to hide behind, I'll just pistol snipe and then get hit by all these projectiles. And I was just about to run in the middle of this room, and now these spiders are blocking me. I took far more damage in there than I had any right to. Alright, well, there is, um, platforms in the middle here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can really get over to it at all. I'm doing my best here. It was a bit of a second floor, but it's all glass, so I wouldn't be able to jump down to it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna keep these things alive just because, uh, you know, once again, I've made the mistake before of, uh, not keeping the, the boxes up, and uh, to be honest, the boxes don't give me that much. Alright. Alright. Oh, and they have spiky balls down there, too. Why would you invent something like this? They have an armor down there? Seriously? I'm guessing that you're supposed to land on the spiky balls in order to get the armor, but... I think we've already learned from... The Adventures of Mike and getting... Uh, equipment near lava is that I'll never do it. <laughs> That's just too, way too risky. Very elaborate one. A very elaborate secret, though. I'll tell you that much. And we did something. We probably opened up a door... Somewhere else. Alright.
Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, everything's blowing up now. And reset that uh that thing immediately though, my combo. That's not nice. Oh, I already got it. Wait, where where did this lead? Okay, there's some items over there. You know, they're getting real sneaky with that the putting the, the, the guys behind uh corners. Just so it gets me every time, but I'm starting to catch on. You can only trick Mike Lott like three times. Alright, I think this is how we get the secret, by the way. Alright, yeah, you go here, you jump onto this guy. Jump onto this guy. Jump on this guy. Jump over here. There you go. See, that's what I mean about keeping them alive and it's a guard, a guard sphere. Uh, well, can't hear it doing damage to me anyways. Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Oh, boy. That, that sword swap just seemed to go right through that other guy. Okay, well that's it for these guys. That guard sphere did come in handy after all. Just just when I thought I wouldn't get any use out of it. Checkpoint reached. Uh. Oh, uh, hi. I didn't do it. Okay, he's throwing the purple things at me. Uh, they don't seem to really home in on me though. And now he's turned himself into a projectile. Let's go get some more ammo. Oh. Uh, wait, the purple things didn't, wanna, didn't actually home in on me. Just try and get all the ammo. Because this is like the best weapon for this guy. Well, this is a bit different from the uh, boss that I had before with the rockets. Just slightly. Oh, I wish I got that armor before I finished the level. Ah, uh, I thought he did. I thought he used to do a, a thumbs up. I love the thumbs up. But clenched fist works too. I like that as well. Well, let's keep going then.